what is about uh, S grade boss, five others arrested, but also security operatives, uh, SUBA, as well as um, uh, the NCA collaborating to look at the issue of Simbox fraud. I'll start with you, Kobna. I'm sure we'll get the opportunity to comment on what you and your uh, co panelist uh, your co host, discuss about our, our, our general secretary on Saturday. I hope we'll get the opportunity. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, delve, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll delve into You are so much yes. interested in that. <laughs> I, I'm interested I'm sure you want to descend on yes. um, uh, Mama mm -hmm. You know, sandboxing, boxing, internet fraud, and all that. Uh, and the recent, I don't know whether it was actually just mere hacking or it was actually a crack. Uh, because, I mean, with somebody with some basic knowledge in the IT industry, Hacking is legal. It's illegal. It's legal. It's illegal. Hacking. It's illegal. Yes. It's it legal cracking, in IT. It is cracking that is illegal. Hacking is illegal. Hacking is legal. Cracking. There's a, there's, I've heard people discuss it. Maybe they just, they just don't want to go. Not, not even in Ghana. We're talking about international forums where hacking... Maybe we've been using I'm the using, wrong word. I'm using technical. Maybe we've been using I'm the wrong word. That's why he's he's he, 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 he has yeah. knowledge about. Maybe we've been using <laughs> yes. the wrong word. When when you to, to hacking is done, normally to improve upon one's programming skill and all that. But when you use hacking, the knowledge to hack the skill for unlawful behavior or or criminal aspects. Or, or, or engagements that becomes cracking and that is unlawful that is criminal so that's IT language yes yes and and <laughs> and and this has been going on what what happened to the Ghana government website the official government portal yeah. and uh, I think the communication ministry which is supposed to be the ministry with oversight in this in this industry uh, tells all of us what is going on under this information age. That in the end, uh, you have people always wanting to take advantage of a certain system. Even the website of the United States uh, security, I think Pentagon website or so, mm. got hacked into Within Supposedly a, by North Korea, blah, yes, blah, blah, blah. and within a short time, Operating. they rejected it quickly at, because what happens when people want to do wrong and actually crack is when they use their skill and knowledge to, to hack, to enter your system and alter the information that you put out there and even misrepresent you. And sometimes when you have your email addresses, you know, <laughs> Hacked into by people. But, but, but that's what we're talking about, in, in, in interception of calls onto platforms. I'm coming. I mean, it's all within mm, the, the, whole... the framework of the technological industry. Okay? Yes, yes. And, and you, need to, you need to appreciate what goes on, on there. That's why I'm... And one is not... They're they all criminal. Okay? It's all criminal. And we need to discuss them in generality. It's happening. We need to have a, a cadre call of if you like, burden programmers that this country should put together. Mm -hmm. If it's under the National Communication Authority, who will from time to time engage in activities to preempt the activities of hackers who eventually will use it for crack or criminal purposes? Do we have that as a national communication policy? The communication ministry, do they have that? Do they have programmers who are sitting 24 7. But they don't, they, they, they don't need to have, they can have agencies that will do that on the IBM. And I'm saying, the practices. agencies that you are making, making reference to, do they have that personnel? Are we equipped to assume the, the role that we should play within the information age and the technological world that we live in today? Do we have that? And how long did it take, did it take us to detect that our systems and our websites have been hacked into? Those are issues that I'm raising that as, at, at policy level and at senior I mean, level of the ministries, we ought to be discussing. Come to the issue of sandboxing. And that is why this thing about SUBA. Originally when we were talking about it, mm. 
people said they were being paid value for money. Suba came after uh, there was a company, an Haitian, a Haitian company, okay, and they were monitoring uh, international gateway calls, calls that were coming from Europe, America, elsewhere into the country. So as the telecom institutions or companies, especially the cellular telecommunication companies, will not underreport the incoming calls because they should pay taxes to Ghana government on them. Mm -hmm. Now, to be able to monitor it, you needed some, if you like, technical equipment and capacity. And that is why we contracted uh, this Haitian company. I don't know why I, 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 the name has escaped me. Maybe it will That's come. why you forgot. Yeah. Yeah, because you just forgot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, you don't why, know the why the name... You don't know why you are forgetting. Because you forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. these people worked with us. And you recall that Alpha even went to court that, claiming that on the grounds that they had the capacity... Are you a member of Alpha? I was. No more. They had the capacity to listen into people's private conversations, and we felt that was... But we're talking about same boss fraud. So in essence... In essence, we are talking about having put in place a, a, a net, a, a process to check it. And now we're checking. And we're, 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 we're getting the people because we, we, we've, we've put in place third-party people that will have the right equipment to do that. I think that's more appropriate, right? It is good. Yes. But is that what Suba is doing? Because we are told Suba is doing is, only... Is, is that not what they are doing? No, we are told that Suba is only monitoring internal calls. Really? Yes, that's what but, we are told. But for more, we are saying they have the equipment and everything calls. to... They are monitoring the external. Otherwise, the they couldn't call, have intercepted. They do. They do, they do, they do monitor. They, they, do, they well. do that. Except that they are not indeed do up to, living up to expectation. Because we still have the same box fraud, you know. No, the uh, point is that if, if they didn't have the equipment... And they didn't have the technology. They wouldn't. They couldn't have intercepted at all. Were, were, they, were these no. people, were these people see, picked up uh, based on work done by Suba? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, okay. They picked up uh, through their machines. Their monitoring yeah. machines. So within an, uh, so within a period of eight to six hours, you are picked up. So let's say that let's say it's good that we have been able to intercept good. and make some yeah. arrests mm. to the effect. And, and, and I'm told. More. And, and still monitoring is still being done. Yes, and I'm told and that people, the man... And people are still being picked up. Mm -hmm. Roland, I'm told that the man is some... Yes, but he's held a very high profile greater, greater, position. Former greater boss. boss yeah. I think now, president... And that's where, that where I want to conclude. Mm -hmm. Fraud in the technology world is not done, done by mean people. Mm. Very high class people. It's done by people with some huge Stitcher. profile and stature, and if you like, technical know-how. Sometimes, in other jurisdictions, when people I are, even a lecturer. People are mm -hmm. busted, mm -hmm. you get to know, eventually, that there are people with some knowledge in the industry. And also, there's been, some financing to buy the technology absolutely, to, absolutely. to do the hacking. Well, um, I would have to... But I think, I think this is good for the economy. Yes, I, it's I, good for, the, for us. I, yes. I, I but am, we must I retrieve am, all the monies. I am associating Lost myself to Governor Bonfair's position. Um, but I have to add that, yes, Minister of Communication, through the NCA, National Communication Authority, the CID, okay, must Suba. do better. No, I'm just okay. limiting it on the, techno, uh, okay. the, the technical aspect mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. You know, the NCA had calls to come out some time ago to say that, look, monitoring external calls into Ghana is, very, is a big problem to us. And it's getting or making, causing the country to lose a lot of revenue. So what are we putting in place? That gave birth to the Suba issue. But the Suba has or had two duties or tasks to do. First of all, within the country, Monitor. communication tax component. How are we going to get this communication tax well and better deducted, okay, from the communication that goes so the to GRA had to, you know, bring in Suba. That is what I believe mm. uh, Governor Bonfer was trying to mm. talk about. Okay. Aside that, external call that comes in. You sometimes you receive a call from the U.S. or a call from, say, U.K. 
and you realize that a local number rather appears. And you, instead of, and you the politicians who tend to ignore local numbers, you might point to Absolutely. No, no, no. You miss an international <laughs> call. Roland. So you, you realize that a local number appears instead of, you know, the number of that particular country or the code, or the, 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 the call coming in preceded by the code of the country that the call is actually coming from. That is going to be, that's supposed to be the right way. But people try to evade the system, okay, and then go through all manners of means to get some revenue lost to the country and all that. So what we would say is a good you know, news to us. We believe that things have been put in place. And this needed to we're told that the equipment, like uh, Governor Buffett said, needed to do some of this um, tracking was a difficult task. And Suba came in. We're told that, yes, indeed, they got the equipment. They had proven that they can do it. Now we are told the security services in conjunction with Suba did the arrest. That's a good thing. That would be going to help us. Okay. But I tell you emphatically that even two, three days ago, I received call from outside with the local numbers. Mm. Because the money is happening. Mm. Well, but we just that's why I said they need to do more. All right. Because we're losing. We the don't have the time. Money.